Hey, Miss Carr, how were you? I'm fine. And um, <clears throat> you want to tell us a little about something about yourself? I know I joined the choir with you, and <laughs> at the senior center, you worked hard with me, Miss Carr. <laughs> you wouldn't give up on me. <laughs> and many, many years, you have taught and um, trained people and singing, and came back to volunteer at the senior center and started the choir here for how many years? I have to think now. I came here as a visitor and volunteered to play flute music and then they asked me if I would join, organize a choir. And I said, yes. okay, so all right. Well, all of my life has been in music. My father was a minister, so oh, actually, wow. I, when, when I started playing the piano, I used to play for him. And then I went out and started playing for, in other churches. I played in the Chester, the Methodist Church. One, the one way I would do these things, my father would say, if you need an organist, if you're sick or anything, just call me up and I'll send you my daughter. Wow. <laughs> so that's how I went into music and playing in the church. Okay. And I was playing at a Presbyterian church for the uh, young people and the minister, uh, a James United Methodist Church in Germantown organist went on a vacation. Okay. And he didn't have anyone, so someone said, Well, try call this young lady. Miss <laughs> Miss Kenny, that was my maiden name. That was your and maiden see, name. And see if she will play for you. So I played for the month of July. Wow. And I says, I got to go back to my church. He says, oh, no, I have to keep you another month. I don't have an organist. And so he kept saying he had an organist. I says, now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up staying at that church for 45 years. Oh, is that true? As organist. And I know, Miss Carr, you had told me, I had asked you, and I know you're committed. I gave an event, and Miss Carr, I get for honoring uh, mothers, girls, and teachers, was for the M. Um, MGT Mothers, Girls, and Teachers, and she helped me um, organize it, and she got honored on that day. And I want to thank you for taking your time. She is committed. I really enjoyed doing that. I, I really appreciate loved it. you. I really Ms. Carr. appreciate you asking me, and I thank you. For yes, you did. Me. Very professional. So go ahead, Miss Carr. Tell us what was done. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got so much to tell us, but we want to hear a little more. <laughs> anyway. I, uh, um, we all, not only organized six other choirs, but we organized what you call a fellowship choir. Okay. And that, that, that brought in, um, uh, 20 some other churches. Wow. That had choir members that were willing to sing, just, you know, volunteer, sing, sing and give concerts. I had a, on my choir, a late, uh, a soprano. A, she actually was a contralto, but she could sing soprano and alto. And she was terrific. And she taught music at the uh, at one of the music schools in Philadelphia. Right. So she says, if you will play for me, Miss Anderson, she said, I want to organize this fellowship choir. And I said, okay, I'll help you. And so uh, I stayed with her for 15 years. Oh, wow. And I played for her. And finally, I decided that after 45 years, it was time for me to retire. Oh, come <laughs> on, Miss Carr. But well, wait, in between, didn't you find somebody? Did you get married? Yes, I did. Oh, God. I taught in, in Elton, Maryland for two years, and I met a young man there. But then uh -oh. I, I didn't, I didn't marry, we didn't meet him, but he, he, he taught in the school I was in, oh. industrial arts. Okay. But then I decided to move back to Philadelphia, which I did. And okay. that's when I became involved with James Church. Well, when I came, when it was time for me to retire, I had a girlfriend who, who lived in Elton, Maryland, still lived there, mm -hmm. and she, she kept saying, Oh, you got to come and visit me. Then finally she told this young man, after he uh -oh, had married uh -oh. and buried his first wife, said, I know where Bernice is. And he said, where is she? In Philadelphia. So he came to Philadelphia. 
I tried to avoid seeing him. Did you? Uh-oh. He finally, he caught up with me. He caught up with you. <laughs> <laughs> and for two years, we caught up and finally got married. Well, you know, the young people today um, is not using the word courting anymore. No. Um, I, don't you think that um, getting to know somebody first before you're just rushing on and dating and marrying them? Yes. Yes. You know, I think those are some of the things that we should be back into our culture, yes. Yes. you know, to save a lot of hardship and time. How long had you stayed married with this young, handsome man? <laughs> Until he passed. Oh, he passed well, last Bobby, please, month, well, April. In April. We're so sorry of, to hear that. And that marriage lasts how long? Ten years. Oh, wow. Yes, ten years. Wow. And, 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 and I, I don't regret it at all. I love him very much. And he, wow. I think he loved me. Yes, yes. And we really and had a beautiful marriage. Oh, I he like was, to hear that. And I he love was to hear that. the same all the time. Wow. Wasn't the type to fuss or anything like that. I, don't, I can't remember him saying an ugly word to me. It was wow. just, it, yeah, and that's unusual. You know? Yes, it that's is. Unusual. That's what I'm saying. Wow. But he was loving, and, and I appreciate that because you never know when a person's going to get sick. Okay, that's good. See, and, and uh, he became very ill, and, 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 and uh, he just started going down, and finally he passed. April. We're sorry to hear year. that, Miss Carr. Mm -hmm. But I know you have always been kind to me, and you always taught me, you know, to be patient, even though I couldn't read music. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know some of your best choir members <clears throat> cannot read music? Wow. And they are the best choir members. Wow. Tell you the truth. They really study their music, and their ear, they train their ears to hear their parts. Yes. Yes. And, and, and they could do a good job, they do a really good job. And I, I um, uh, had a choir of uh, 30 voices, and uh, and a lot of them were were they, they enjoyed music and loved to sing, but they did not read music very well. But we did cantatas, we did wow. operettas, wow. we did anthems. And we were the senior choir of the church, and we would go out with the minister all the time. And he, and he, uh, he stayed at that church until he retired. And when he would go out, it was so funny. Mostly, all of the ministers that came after him would do the same thing. When they would, when we would go out, I have had to make sure I had enough music because they would instead of. Instead of him standing up and preaching, he would say, I have a, the choir will sing another selection. <laughs> well, Miss Carl, I'm not going to keep you long. I say thank you so much, and I appreciate you. This is Miss Carl, my, my, I can, I'm a claimer. All right. <laughs> she taught me so much, and we love you, Miss Carl. May God bless you. I love you, you too. Thank um, you. you. Continue to do good work. Thank you.